another debutante here at the Shanghai Auto Show is the Volkswagen ID7. Now, in China, this is actually called the ID7 Vision, but uh, it is effectively the same car. It's a global car. It's going to be sold all over the world, obviously including Ireland and in Europe. And it's effectively going to be Volkswagen's range king. It's going to have uh, offer an upgraded battery that will give up to 700 kilometers of driving range. Uh, it's going to be a couple of different versions available, obviously. Um, and it uses uh, basically an evolution of Volkswagen's MEB platform. The big difference comes on the interior, where there's now an upgraded infotainment system. There is a very smart uh, HVAC system or air conditioning system um, that will allow basically uh, it will detect whether it's uh, how hot it is in the cabin. You've got a big new touch screen, similar steering wheel as before. You've got still got haptic controls in here. Um, yeah, this is what the interior is like. It is in many ways, this version anyway, this is the Chinese version. Uh, it's got very high quality interior, especially around the seats and around on the dashboard here. Better than what we've seen on some of the European models. Um, it's a little bit different, I'll give them that. Also, the rear seats have quite a bit of room in here. Getting in is relatively easy. So there's good amount of space. You've got a panoramic glass roof. I've got plenty of headroom here, as you can see. Good bit of knee room as well. So no complaints there and let's have a look around the back of the car it's it's i'm not i'll be honest i'm not entirely mad on the design of the car i think they could have done a little bit more i know aerodynamics play a big part of how it looks especially around the front it's a similar profile to the hyundai ionic 6 um but then around the side it's perhaps not the most interesting looking car uh, the interior space is what's going to make this stand out or going to make this popular for people. Um, it's going to be a big seller with company car drivers. And, well, we'll have to wait until we get a proper drive in it soon. But this is just a quick first look video at the new ID7. We'd love to know what you think. So tell us in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the Complete Car channel.